here is the first item up for bid. Uh, it is a tweet from our good friend, Mike McMahon. And by our good friend, I mean, he's everybody's good friend because he's so cool. He tweets, lower decks goes to DS9 this week, which is an awesome thing to say. Uh, that is his tweet. Oh, I love um, your response. It's a festivist miracle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was uh, the seventh rule's response uh, because when he was on the seventh rule last week reviewing the Lower Decks episode that he uh, wrote, which was Lower Decks episode five, he was talking about how Seinfeld characters were like the Lower Decks characters and stuff like that. So it was a joke we knew he would get. <laughs> he better get it. Otherwise, he can't <laughs> claim Seinfeld. So we know that, what is this, episode six of the season three of Lower Decks is going to be uh, visiting Deep Space Nine. Now, whether the episode is about Deep Space Nine or takes place on Deep Space Nine or whether the Lower Deckers are going to land on it and walk around, as some people were surmising based on the one Deep screenshot. Deep Space Nine landing. <laughs> is Deep Space Nine <laughs> landing on the pack led home planet? Yeah, we don't know that. <laughs> Uh, or do we know anything beyond that? We know they circle the pylons a lot. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say we see the clip that was in from the trailer. Before. Well, that's one, right. You're right. One would assume that if faces or familiar faces from Deep Space Nine will be seen, and didn't Mike McMahon yes, say on the promenade? I don't know that, but I know that uh -huh. he said familiar faces plural. So right. we know it's going to be at it's, least two faces <laughs> that we recognize. And the picture they showed on the yeah, prom was on the yeah. promenade that they showed like in the ready, at ready room. But then the pictures they released today don't reveal anything. It's just pictures of the crew on the bridge like usual. Mm -hmm. Such, such weird <laughs> pictures to <laughs> release. But they're doing more than one pass. So one could deduce that in those passes... <laughs> You have to do something to fill the time other than just staying on the Cerritos. <laughs> yeah. We did see in season two, didn't we have that flashback with um, Mariner with, with Mariner on Deep Space Nine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so there's precedent. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then also so, there was the story that like Tawny was sharing that she actually was supposed to be on like a side mission for this week's episode. But then she called up Mike McMahon because she's like a lifelong Deep Space Nine fan and was like, yes. you can't have a Deep Space Nine episode and I'm not on Deep Space Nine. So <laughs> I guess that actually That's does great. mean she's on Deep Space Nine. She goes to Deep Space Nine. How Love funny it. would it be, though, if it were, and we know it's not going to be, but if it were an episode that just takes place on Deep Space Nine with Deep Space Nine characters, but it's, you know, presented through Lower Decks, right? So as in the show Lower Decks, but you don't actually see any of the main characters <laughs> from Lower Decks. It's just like, oh, it's just like an episode <laughs> of Deep Space Nine in the style mm. of Star Trek Lower Deck. Obviously, we know that's not I love that. the case, but that would be so funny just to see, you know, mm -hmm. or feeding Rom some root beer and then, you know, Jake and Nog <laughs> running around being rascals and all kinds of stuff like that. Kira telling Odo something that he did wrong, you know. <laughs> a lost episode. <laughs> yeah. That would be, be so much fun. Conspiracy truthers checking on Cisco. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. That's good <laughs> stuff. Uh, so uh, what you were alluding to, it seems, here is something. Uh, here's a, an article from our friends over at slashfilm.com by our friends. I'm not even sure I've heard of these guys. Um, <laughs> I feel like I probably have. Uh, the title is Tawny Newsom's love for Deep Space Nine led to a Star Trek Lower Decks rewrite. This has got to be what you are referring yeah, to, Anne-Marie. Yeah. Uh, and it reads a little something like this. Star Trek Lower Decks has given its characters fun chances to interact with some of the cast members from other famous Star Trek crews, including Will Riker, Deanna Troy, but season three will see the crew of the Cerritos headed to one of Starfleet's most famous non-starships. Wait, one of? Hang on a second. What? Yeah, I know. Are there other space stations? Freaking, that, 
K seven or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. the one from uh, Tribbles. Yeah, but it's, it's still that's nothing like, like that's that's not. Not. far less. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not nearly as famous. Yeah. Jupiter um, Station, like, give me a break. Uh, Dominion Wars on the front lines. Mm-hmm. Say, <laughs> and it continues. Star Trek Deep Space Nine was a series that didn't quite get the warm reception from fans or critics that it deserved, but has become a fan favorite with a seriously devoted following. Devoted following. Lower Decks shares some things in common with Deep Space Nine, including being a bold new approach to the old Trek format. And it will be a real treat to see how the writers lovingly riff on my personal favorite corner of the franchise. Aww. That's a really Love great it. point Aww. about having stuff in common because they're both boldly different. Mm-hmm. Man, we gotta we gotta get some kind of technology that blocks pop up ads because that that video advertisement below yeah. was really distracting. It's like, watch this trailer. Watch. I'm like, I'm trying to yeah. read, bro. Leave me alone. I don't I like, care about. Is that the trailer. trailer for the the next episode? But it's not. I don't know I what it was. Anybody who doesn't oh, like no, it is a, one of the soulless minions of Now I want to know what the I'm trailer is for. An, I'm, it's a, I'm seeing an Audi commercial. Comic cartoon. Oh, cartoon. That's what I'm oh, seeing. Man. I want an Audi. <laughs> Leaving that one alone. Anyway, so, um, Muhammad, being that you're the biggest Deep Space Nine fan of the four of us, just kidding, guys, don't get mad. Yeah, uh, I do like it a lot. <laughs> I don't know about that, but. Uh, <laughs> What are you hoping to see in this episode? It's a good question. So I would say, let me let me alter your question a little bit. Say, what am I expecting to see? And I think we talked about this a little bit before. I would be, I would be surprised if Quark is not part of it. It seems like if they're going to be going on the promenade, the most logical person to have there is Quark. You know, Armin's probably available, and I, I assume we'd be interested in doing that. <clears throat> what am I hoping to see? Or, well, I'm hoping to see that. <laughs> but I'm hoping to see yeah. as many returning people as I possibly can. <laughs> I know. And just other scenes too. It'd be great to go up to the to the I forget the name of the, the well not the upper pond. I mean obviously there's the promenade area, but I was thinking like where the where oh. the captain's where the captain sits. It'd be interesting to see like who ops. is captain of it. Ops, yeah. But remember this the captain's quarters kind of, kind of behind ops. So I'd love to see who's yeah, I want to know, yeah, who's is sitting in the clock still there. Yeah. That's what, what? I want. What if on um, the baseball? Dr. Ta'ana and Shaq get engaged and then they go to Garrett to get her wedding dress. Oh, I love <laughs> it. I love it. We know he has an extensive catalog. <laughs> they could have dinner at that Klingon cafeteria, or not cafeteria, Klingon restaurant. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we've got a new poll going up right Go to here. Vince's gym. <laughs> and it is an exciting one. Please oh. check for spelling errors when I type these quickly. I sometimes make spelling errors. Great to vote. Um, uh, the question is, what are you most hoping for in the Lower Decks Deep Space Nine episode? I think we know where this one is going to win, uh, where this one's going to go. Uh, the options are familiar faces, comedy, a good story, or something new. Something new could be like a new character introduced or a new storyline or a new uh villain you know just something new comedy we know they can do good stories they do well familiar faces is got a good chance of winning this one i think that's why right because like it's lower decks it always has comedy it always has a good story so i mean those are probably like safe bets whereas the hope for is the the i don't even need those yeah (laughs) oh i should have put easter eggs as one people love their easter eggs yeah they like love the baseball. Be... That would be phenomenal. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would love credit to Melissa. That. Melissa was the one who suggested that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so right now, uh, Familiar Faces is obviously winning. Dr. Anne-Marie Siegel, what do you hope to see in this episode? Okay. I would love to actually finally see Vince's gym. That was like the <laughs> Easter egg put in because like Doug Drexler used to work out there. And so it's on like, the promenade list of places, but we never see it. So that's that's what I would love the most. And there's is that so a gym at Paramount? Up. Yeah, at or like really close by. So like, no, that is that the one that's in Universal? I think it's at Universal. I thought it was close. I don't. I mean, which I is no close? Idea. I don't know LA at all. I think it's close, but not on Paramount. Live. I think it was the one that was uh, in, in Universal uh, City, like right in that little area. 
Um, I think for like a hilarious deep cut like that, because that Lower Decks is so good at that, like Zahn in the movie episode, like they know their lore. I have one to add after Melissa goes. Oh, am I next? <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> or, oh. or also, like, if you see a bunch of ugly dresses. I love that Sanctuary episode, like, ugly dress scene. Yeah, go ahead and hit us, Melissa. I'm looking for Vince's gym. I found the mm. website right away. I went to the About section, and they, oh, now it's, no, this oh, is the in about, Tampa. As featured in Star Trek. So mm -hmm. what are you hoping for, Melissa? I'm definitely hoping for familiar faces, which will in turn bring about many Easter eggs. Because I think one goes in hand, hand in hand with the other, kind of. But okay. yes, it would be great to uh, revisit characters that we have loved for so long. Mm -hmm. And... And that could lead to something new, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Vince's gym, I found it. It it's is Studio, uh, Studio City, City <laughs> yeah, which is adjacent to Universal, uh, and Universal is adjacent to Hollywood. So it's probably like, there's no traffic. You basically, it's like 10 minutes from Paramount. Um, Dave, Dave Mattingly said, the gym at Paramount is called He's Dead Gym. <laughs> So I thought of one thing that'd be cool to, add, to see, and it's it's not exactly a familiar face, but it's a familiar name. It'd be cool to see Captain Bode. Oh, yes, yes. I was thinking about that Brilliant. the other day. Like <laughs> that would be the way to see him, right? <laughs> but then they need to name him too. Well, no, I guess we could figure it out. If somebody's walking by with a transparent skull. We're like, wait, is Who's that? And he's hot? got four. Who he's got four sex pips. appeal. Yeah, <laughs> that's how we'll know. Wait, I assumed Captain Bode was like a freighter captain. You think he's a Starfleet captain with pits? Good question. Didn't they mention that? Yeah, I don't know. All right, I'll look that up. I assume, <laughs> I assume he's too fast and loose to be a Starfleet captain. <laughs> and he has like a lot of free time for dating. Riker's like, did somebody say fast and loose? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Captain Baudet <laughs> was a 24th century Gallimite ship commander. Mm -hmm. He was a typical Gallimite a with a toothy smile and a transparent skull. He was toothy also smile. quite talkative and was known to have a good sense of humor. However, some people like Julian Bashir felt he was opinionated and arrogant. Okay, so, so far, he's, he's no jealous. ship commander. Oh, freighter captain. It does say occupation freighter captain. Good knowledge, Amory. Context clues. Interesting. Julian Brashear finds an arrogant. It's like, yeah. it's not exactly yeah, humble. exactly. <laughs> and Worf finds him violent. It's better game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I guess that's all the talk about uh, lower Wait, What are you hoping spend. for? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What Did Mohammed? did you say what you Yeah, I, I went first. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah but, but we ended from Ryan, though. Thank you, though, Melissa. I mean... I, you know, I'm the typical nerd. I think we all, I'm surprised only 73% of the people said familiar faces because, you know, when they're yeah. saying they're going to Deep Space Nine, first of all, the space station is one of the familiar faces to mm -hmm. us fans. We're just happy seeing the space station from the outside and from the inside. It's going to give us a lot of nostalgia and a lot of fun feels and a lot of squeals. Uh, so I'm going to be very happy to see the space station, just knowing that it's still out there floating. It's still living large 20 years later or whatever it is. That's going to make us happy. But, you know, I also have made my predictions as to who we would see there already in the past. I think it's too late in the game to go over those predictions again, but I made them in a previous episode. Go check those out. Um, I think it was uh, in uh, yeah. Star Trek and Chill, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Probably. All of the polls. Yeah. yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping to see people that we know and love, even if they don't have lines, even if like like even if it's Morn, or mm -hmm. even if it's uh Captain Baudet, or even if it's uh there's one guy Felix. That, Felix, <laughs> well, see, we wouldn't know it was Felix unless they said it. 
But there was also one Ferengi bartender that we would always see. What was his name? Gwent? Like no. what? No. What is it? Gwent? Gint? Gwent? Gint. Gint. No. I think it might Gint? be. Gint? Isn't he the. No, that was Rom. That was Max. Ram Nagus. Gint. Yeah. But the I was thinking Ram that Nagus. too. It's like Grint or there's Something. someone like that. Anyway. So we would recognize him. Possibly it's tough to fully, you know, depict that in a lower decks type animation, you know, so we could guess. But, you know, maybe we would see that that singing Klingon, right, uh, that we saw in oh. two episodes. But little things like oh. that or, or a ball running away. by. Right. The, the actor did, but not the character. So, I you know. know. We could see a vole running by just little things that we recognize would be really cool, even if it's not necessarily, you know, the characters, but we'll definitely see some characters, oh I'm sure. We by saw way, a vole on a stick. Yeah. Last week. People are like wondering if that's wool and sticks. <laughs> I get the career fair. Yeah. So gross. Oh, you guys, what? I think now is the time to mention that the seventh rule will be doing their review on Thursday, as usual, of this Lower Decks episode. 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. With? And on this show, we will have the familiar face or faces. Uh, we will have the familiar faces from the Lower Decks episode on the seventh rule review of the lower decks episode joining us so everybody at home oh. when you watch lower decks if you see somebody that you recognize just know that that somebody will be joining us on the seventh rule at 6 p.m pacific 9 p.m eastern to talk about this episode and their experience recording it and whatever That's else crazy. happens to come up probably weird stuff what <laughs> i said this thursday oh my gosh as if like thursday couldn't get any better with a deep space nine episode broik they're right uh the q and uh jim westbrook broik that's the guy we were trying to think of oh jim thank you guys good mm -hmm. good knowledge good knowledge broik that's the guy we we're thinking of um anyway so everybody you've got to go check out the seventh rule this Thursday, 6 p.m. or anytime after 6 p.m. David Gregory says, or sorry, Chuck A says, Sorak, hopefully. Man. But he's definitely going to be there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a fair one. Regardless. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. So any final thoughts on uh, Lower Decks before we close the book on that discussion? Jim Westbrook said to Melissa, "Next time it will, uh, next time it will be a chocolate-covered vole on a stick." <laughs> oh, this cool. is some good knowledge. Because I've been wondering, like, how many? I couldn't remember how many years after the Dominion War this episode will take place. So the live chat seen six years. Interesting. Wait, I can't wait to see what's changed. It's only six years after the Dominion Wars. I thought it was twenty. You think about Picard, I think. Yeah, yeah. Lower Ducks. You're right. Let's get confirmation on that. Because it's like after Voyage and Return Home. So I meant to look that up, but now I won't have to. Okay, beginning in the year 2380. Huh. That might just be the, the next year after. This is after Voyager comes back. Voyager so, comes back after Deep Space Nine's over. John Orgiola says Dominion War ended 2375. And okay, then yeah. Lower Decks season three is 2381. Fantastic. Then six years. Awesome. Good job, guys. God, I love how smart everybody is. It makes our job so much easier, doesn't <laughs> it? We're just like, what's the this thing in the stuff? And they're like, uh, obviously it's this, you guys. And we're like, okay. Thanks. Also, like Shax is Bajoran, so it'll be interesting to see. Oh, good like point. If he knows anybody, and also just him being near Bajor or Bajor. Bajor? <laughs> we'll see an orb. Mm -hmm. And the Temple of the Prophet. <laughs> yeah, maybe he'll mm -hmm. do introduce Dr. Tana to his family. <laughs> 
sorry, my mind is just wandering way too much on that <laughs> because yeah, that's true. We, there is a Bajoran on lower decks. Orion, they didn't really touch them too much. Even when the even when O'Brien would go play with the Orion Syndicate, we wouldn't actually see any freaking Orions when he would mm-hmm. deal with the Orion Syndicate, which made me so sad. And didn't O'Brien go back to Earth? Yeah. Mm. I, guess, I guess the Trill could talk to Ezri. The Trill uh, helmsman, I can't remember her name. Yeah, Jennifer. the point. Mm-hmm. Not Jennifer. Or is Jennifer, Jennifer the Andorian. Andorian? She's Andorian. Ensign yeah. Barnes. Oh. I think Ensign That's Barnes it. is the trill. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ensign Whoa. Priscilla Barnes. Wow. Good knowledge. <laughs> Priscilla Barnes is actually the I'm actress bored. that played Terry uh, on uh, Three's Company. And she oh. was also in The Devil's Rejects and probably stuff in between, but that's what I know her from. But Ensign Barnes, yeah, that's the trill, I believe. 